Hi, I'm Nikki Edgell and I'm here today to speak with you about electromagnetic smog and how it affects our health and some solutions to supporting your health within that electromagnetic smog. So who am I? Um, I'm a practicing qualified nutritional therapist, naturopath and clinical psychoneuroimmunologist. I've uh, been practicing natural health uh, for uh, 18 years and I seek to help my clients to find the root cause of the stress that they might find themselves under and uh, therefore get to the bottom of why they're experiencing the symptoms they are, both physical and emotional. Um, and it's a very rewarding uh, career. So what are electromagnetic fields and how do they affect us? So where do electromagnetic fields come from? Well, there are two sources. One is uh, a natural source, and that is the Earth's magnetic frequencies. And the other is man-made frequencies. And what we're talking about in terms of stress is the man-made frequencies. So uh, the Electromagnetic frequencies from man-made sources are things like your mobile phone, baby monitors, your laptop, your iPad. Um, it would be things like your smart meter and uh, any electrical circuiting. These all are man-made frequencies and they are a much, much higher frequency than the Earth's frequency. Now, the Earth's electromagnetic frequencies are the very frequency that, as humans, all living things, we are uh, designed to, uh, to connect with. And uh, this frequency is the Schumann resonance of around about 7 hertz. It's a very, very, very tiny hum. And this is what we have been connected with for millennia. And it is one of the key things that gives us energy, vitality, and helps us to uh, dissipate uh, toxicity and, 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 and get a very strong uh, electron charge for our cells, which is really vital for health. Modern day man-made electromagnetic fields vibrate at a very, very much higher frequency, hundreds of times higher than the Earth's frequency. And as such causes us to be in a stressed state. Um, I don't know if you uh, experience this yourself, but uh, if you've been on the computer for a long time, or you've been on your phone for a long time, you might find that you feel really tired or irritable, um, or your eyesight might be affected. Uh, all sorts of symptoms come from the stress that electromagnetic fields bring to our bodies. So um, the stress response in our bodies is the same, whatever the stress source. It's, uh, it's produced in our limbic system and it is our fight flight response. It is a survival mechanism and it's vital to our health and, and, uh, and our survival. So we need it, but we don't need it to be activated um, very often. It should be in an acute way. So, uh, you know, if there's a, a pathogen that uh, the body needs to um, eliminate, to, to get rid of, um, or if there's a, a real danger that um, we need to escape from, then, uh, then the fight flight system is really, really vital. But uh, in our modern day world, we have stressors that are on pretty much 24 seven and as such cause us a lot of stress and the effects of stress. So the effects of stress are that our immune system is activated, uh, our hormones that produce, uh, are produced in the fight flight, cortisol, um, can produce a lot of the stress um, symptoms that you might be aware of. Um, so this can be anything from headaches, 
uh, to um, uh, skin issues, rashes, um, uh, can be uh, memory issues, can be energy issues, agitation, um, could be anxiety, mood swings, depression. Uh, it could just be that um, you you feel nauseous. Um, a lot of people uh, comment to me, uh, oh, I, I feel quite often uh, quite nauseous, or I've got muscle spasms, I've got aching limbs. They might have flu-like symptoms, um, or stabbing pains or nerve twitches. There are so many different uh, responses, um, symptom responses to stress. And what happens in the cell is that our calcium channels are activated by the electromagnetic frequencies. And this actually causes oxidative stress. And this causes damage within our cells and it can cause neuro uh, logical disorders and damage. Uh, it can damage our DNA, our mitochondrial DNA. Our mitochondria are the centers of our energy production at cellular level and are vital, therefore, to our energy. Um, and along with the stress response comes inflammation. And inflammation, when it goes on for too long, becomes chronic and it uses up huge amounts of energy from our uh, brain and our, our bodies and it demands um, a lot of uh, glucose to support that energy production so you'll find people will reach for uh, more um, glucose rich foods um, they will store more weight as a consequence um, and it's also a way for the body to protect itself and to um, uh, to encapsulate some of the toxins so and then when you try to lose weight um, the body doesn't want to because it doesn't want to release all this toxicity into the system so there are many many responses uh, to having stress long-term stress both physical mental and emotional um, what we're dealing with today, what we're looking at today, is the stresses caused from electromagnetic frequencies. So um, what can we do about it? Well, there's a lot we can do about it. Um, on a very practical level, we can um, do a lot with our um, devices. So um, your uh, smartphone, if you have one. I've actually decided um, some time ago to uh, ditch my smartphone, although I do still use it uh, occasionally in, a, in the best possible way I can, and I'll explain how. Um, and I've gone back to um, uh, what I call a brick, uh, which means that I can text and make phone calls um, without this constant seeking of a um, of a, a mobile phone mast to get the signal, which is what the smartphones do. Um, if I do make a phone call, I'll either put it on speaker phone um, so that it's away from my body. Distance actually is really vital. Uh, the further away from your body, particularly your head, um, the better, because the, the effects on the body will become less. Um, the other thing I do is if I do make um, a phone call where I want to um, have not not be on speakerphone, I have um, some special headphones and these are called airwave headphones and the last part of the um, headphone is actually an air tube and this reduces the electromagnetic frequencies coming to my head uh, by about 90% they reckon. Um, when you uh, carry your phone around, you can get all sorts of uh, protective Faraday cases so that if it is near your body, um, when you're out and about, you can be protected. Uh, so if you're not using it, you know, the best thing you can do is to uh, turn it on uh, to the airplane mode, take it off to the wi off the Wi-Fi and only use it uh, when you absolutely need to. Um, one of the key things I would recommend is that you don't use it when you're in a car or in a plane or in a, a train. These are all um, 
uh, places where the signal is amplified um, and it, uh, it has to work much harder to find that uh, base uh, signal station and so it's it's having to it's emitting a lot more radiation as a consequence plus it you're in these metal boxes which then uh, reflect back that uh, radiation to you so it amplifies the effects in the body so if you need to make um, calls texts uh, look at look at any information on your phone don't do it in those situations um, it, within your home, you can do an awful lot to reduce the exposure to electromagnetic fields. Um, so one of the things I recommend is that you, um, rather than use Wi-Fi, you can use a wired system, an Ethernet system. And I'm not going to go into how to do that, but there are lots of um, resources online to, to discover how to do that. So you can um, basically go off the Wi-Fi, which is one of the, the biggest uh, electromagnetic stressors, and, um, and be uh, access to the internet via um, a wired system, which is much, much less radiation coming into your body and into your home. Particularly uh, your bedroom is the important place to get um, that electromagnetic smog as, as low as you possibly can. Um, I recommend that you don't have your smartphone, your Wi-Fi needs to be switched off at night, um, switch off your phone, get an old-fashioned um, alarm clock if you need an alarm clock. Um, this is the time when we repair, restore, eliminate all the toxicity from our, our brain and our body, um, but only if we're in a very deep restorative sleep. And we can only get into the sleep if we've got enough melatonin. And one of the problems with um, exposure to electromagnetic frequencies is that it really affects these um, uh, the ability to produce melatonin. It, it lessens our melatonin production um, and therefore we often don't get into these deep sleeps and a lot of my clients um, report that they don't sleep well at all um, or that it's very fit for their sleep. When we're in this deep sleep, um, it's like our brain uh, actually has this amazing capacity to reduce its uh, size overnight and all the um, uh, the surrounding plasma, uh, the glymphatic system within the brain, sort of is like a washing machine. It it literally cleans out all the toxins that are in the brain, um, ready to be released into the lymphatics in the morning when we wake up and we start to move, and that that comes through all the routes of elimination throughout and out of our body, um, and. This can only happen when we're in a very deep sleep, which is why I really connect myself with nature's frequencies during sleep so that I, my body's in the most calm state it can possibly be in. Anything to create calm in, in your environment um, is, is really important in your, in your sleep um, and your bedroom. Reducing the actual electromagnetic frequencies that are coming into your house as well so um, uh, that can be things like your uh, smart meters um, I really recommend that you do not have a smart meter it these uh, things emit um, pulsed electromagnetic free fields um, 24 7 at a very very high rate and um, also things like your baby monitors I really, really urge you ditch them. You know, keep keep old-fashioned ways of looking after your your babies. We don't need these these devices. If you do need to to make a phone call and you're at home, have an old-fashioned landline, a, a, a corded landline. Um, these are ways that you can reduce your your exposure. Um, so lots and lots of things you can do on a very practical level in your home. So now I'm going to talk to you about um, solutions. Um, I think it's always really important to know um, what stresses we have but the main focus then should be around finding solutions to support your health 
both physically, emotionally, energetically. And uh, that's what I'm all about. And so I'm just going to share some of those with you now. Um, as you can see, there's um, quite a lot of uh, props I've got here uh, just to show you some of the things that you can look at to support your health. So we've got um, nutrition. Nutrition is absolutely vital uh, to health uh, generally, but when we're around a lot of stresses, it's even more important because stress causes us to lose vital nutrients, um, magnesium, potassium particularly, and uh, these are our key electrolytes along with calcium and sodium to keep the cell really uh, strong so that nutrients can come into the cell and toxins can uh, leave the cell. So we need um, really dense nutrient uh, foods. These are alkaline foods. Uh, we, for health, need to be a little bit alkaline and our body will find what is called homeostasis its own balance but we'd need to give it the key ingredients uh, it's a little bit like a cake if you don't have all the recipe uh, all the ingredients for the recipe then the cake isn't going to um, come out uh, as, as optimally as it as it might so um, the things that I would recommend uh, to help support health um, when faced with a lot of stress, electromagnetic uh, smog is what we are particularly focusing on here today. Um, these would be alkaline foods. So um, in the morning I have a green smoothie. And I think this is a really wonderful day to, thing to kickstart the day. In here, you've got lots of nutrients. Uh, you've got good fats, um, I put avocado in. You've got um, good fruit, not too much. Um, generally, I just put apple. Um, it is really true that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Um, that adage comes from the, the nutrients that it has. It has this quercetin in it and it's very immune boosting and um, in here i've got something called good green stuff now that is a wonderful way to get 75 ingredients all in a, a measured uh, powder teaspoon into here this is what gives it this lovely green um, color and it's all about detoxification nutrient rich alkalizing foods and immune support. Now, um, the immune support is really vital and I've talked already about that. So this is a great way to start the day. Like I said, with stress, magnesium uh, can be lost uh, very easily. So maybe some supplements, magnesium, some uh, gut support, papaya, um, Cyto Renew um, is a wonderful and liver support and, and energy support generally, um, mitochondrial support. So mitochondria are our little organelles in our cells and they are what produce cellular energy and electromagnetic smog can interfere and damage our mitochondria, our DNA and the ability therefore to produce energy. So we do need to most probably support, I personally, I recommend people to support um, their energy through supplementation as well as good, good wholesome food. Um, so there's lots of different uh, supplements that support liver, cellular regeneration. And also on the other side of things to support the detoxification process because when we are in stress we don't detoxify at the rate that we're taking in toxins and so we need to support that as well and um, things like um, alkalizing things like barley grass, chlorella, um, things that bind to toxins like zeolite, um, there are tinctures to support uh, the extraction of toxins from electromagnetic contact, um, things like ray wave. And um, 
in the good green stuff you've got a lot of these ingredients as well so that's a really good multi as it as it as it were so a lot of uh, nutrient support i would recommend and here are some of the liver cleansing and detoxifying foods that are so vital to your detoxification pathways Um, the next thing I would talk about is um, hydration. I mean, hydration has to come at the centre of everything to do with health. And particularly when we're under stress, we lose a lot of uh, water along with those key electrolytes that I mentioned. And we need our cells to be alkaline, as I've mentioned. And this particular water is the one that I use and the one that I recommend. It's called uh, PyMag water and it's got magnetics in it that match the magnetics of the earth. It's got mineral stones that give uh, natural magnesium and calcium and through into the, back into the water. Fantastic filter and it structures the water. So what that means is it matches our water pores in our cells so that we can absorb much more of this water and it's in the right balance it replicates nature so it's like drinking mountain stream water so it's exactly what our body is designed for so again it's another way to get a little bit more alkalinity into the system because it is slightly alkaline as well the next thing i would talk about is grounding Grounding is so vital because when we are connected with the earth, we can dissipate any uh, body voltage that is built up through our environmental um, pollutants. So that's it, our electricity, dirty electricity, Wi-Fi, all the things that I've talked about. And over the, over the day, we, we pick up more and more of this positive charge and we need to be a, a negatively charged. Our electrons that surround each cell uh, give us this very strong negative charge, which is really vital to uh, the cell and how it takes in and removes uh, nutrients and toxins from the cell and, and throughout through the body. So one of the best ways to um, dissipate this, this charge that builds up is to connect with nature. So putting your feet on the grass outside, on, um, on sand, um, being near the sea if you can, I'm very fortunate that I am, or in, into woodlands, um, in nature, that is where you're going to pick up a lot of um, negative ions from the air and also when you're outdoors you're going to be under the sun's far infrared and that is the really nourishing slightly detoxing um, ray of the sun and it's not to be frightened of we really do need that and we've for, a, for millennia been connected with with nature outside. Now we're 90% if not more indoors and we're also now surrounded by all the electricity, the lighting, the wiring, the Wi-Fi, the, um, the toxicity of the environment that we're in is, is enormous and it's a massive stress to the body. So we do need to connect with nature, we need to get outside if we possibly can. And if you can't get into uh, nature and connect your, your feet to dissipate that body voltage then um, this um, this is a wonderful solution indoors so this is a grounding mat and I use this every day um, if I'm near the computer I'll have it under my feet um, it's, it needs to be in contact with skin uh, just like um, outs outside on the grass and um, that's how we dissipate this body voltage and it's wonderfully um, anti-inflammatory in its response. So all of what I'm talking about is to really reduce the inflammation that stress brings to our body and the oxidative stress that uh, causes so much damage to our, our cells, our DNA, our proteins, all the things that we need to repair and restore our bodies. So grounding, really vital, either outside or inside. 
And then we can use things like Organite. So Organite is a wonderful solution and I'm so delighted to have discovered it along with everything else that I, I've discovered in my 20-year uh, journey uh, towards finding solutions for health. So Organite is the latest thing that I've discovered and I've just started to make it with two other wonderful energy workers. So um, Organite is a, a mix of uh, a stone called Shungite. This is a piece of Shungite. Um, this is a, a wonderful rock that is only found in a certain place in Russia. And it has this incredible uh, electric conductivity. It has a very powerful energetic feel due to its carbon structure. It's like a, it's like a, a football shape in its structure. And um, Buckminster Fuller discovered and worked with it in the 1940s. And so they became known as Fullerenes after him. And these give it a very powerful spin. It matches the spin of our cells. It matches the spin of all things in nature, all living things. And that is in a clockwise direction. And so <clears throat> anything that is um, a negative to us, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna take some more homeag water just to clear my throat. <clears throat> yeah, anything that is uh, a negative to us, so radiation, Wi-Fi, uh, toxins in our uh, foods, chemicals, anything that uh, causes us to uh, be in stress rotates anti-clockwise. And so what this does is the combination of the shungite with other metals, and with crystals that uh, together create this alchemy and this incredibly positive spin. So this spin that harmonizes, that brings back into balance anything that we come into contact with. Shungite in uh, Russia is being used uh, to clean uh, water for example, and the Russian military have used it to combat radiation for, um, for the soldiers. And it's been seen over many years to be a very uh, healing and um, restorative um, rock that when in combination, as I say, with these other things, create this orgone energy, uh, this prana, this chi energy, this, this energy of nature. And nature's energy is really the key to health, um, whether it be water, good food, nutrition, um, connecting with nature's frequency. And this is the, the really big issue we have in modern day life is that we just aren't connected with nature. And so I use all sorts of things. In fact, I'm sitting on um, a, a, a grounding mat, um, which I use when I'm uh, working at the computer. I sleep in a cocoon of nature's frequencies in my, in my bed. Um, there are so many products that you can bring into your house to make convenient um, this this connection with nature uh, because we're just not connected are we um, so these these are wonderful we've we've made them in all sorts of guises uh, so you can have them uh, on a tabletop near the computer you can wear them i have um i have one here uh, nice necklaces we have key rings uh, we've even made tags for pets because obviously pets are uh, affected just as much by electromagnetic smog as, as humans are, as are all living creatures, insects and so forth as well. So um, these are just some of the solutions that I recommend for you. And um, I will put links to many of these products in, um, in, a, in a slide um, at the end of the presentation so that you can um, find some of these things for yourself. Um, with regard to supplementation, I most 
often recommend that people uh, seek individual help. Um, that's something I can help with or find another natural health practitioner. Um, so again, I'll have my details at the end um, and do get in touch. Um, always happy to help, always uh, wanting to help people find their own solutions and uh, give people the tools um, that they can have in the homes uh, that they can use every day, that you can use every day to support your health. To find out more about the PyMag water, you can go to www.pywaterfilters.com. You can find the good green stuff by Newsest via www.naturaldispensary.co.uk. And you can use my discount code for the natural dispensary, which is NE010, um, to get yourself a 10% discount. You can find the Cyto Renew and the Cyto Protect Liver at www.cytoplan.co.uk. You can find the Ray Wave and the Zeolite at www.kiscience.com and I probably would recommend that you get in touch for individual advice for that. Moving on to the grounding mat, you can find that at uh, tiny.cc forward slash nick and rest. And you can find our organites at www.orgonia.com and get in touch via info at orgonia.com or go to our website. Finally, you can get in touch with me via email at nikki at nutritionandhealing.co.uk or by phone on 077-864-05366 or via my website. And on my website you can sign up for my newsletter uh, where I uh, write um, every so often um, on health tips. Um, I also have a Facebook group uh, which is called Nutrition and Healing and there you'll find my latest newsletters, lots of health information and tips um, and I include things like recipes for the smoothies and all sorts of other uh, health tips that I can think of. Thank you for listening.